Hi, everybody. I'm Andy Abramson, and welcome to another of the series of Sky Switch webinars that we put on periodically. This week, we've done two, but I'm really excited about this one because my good friend Darren Knapp, who's the director of America's Channel Sales for Holly, is with us. And because Darren is with us, this means we're going to have a great, great, great presentation. Those of you who got to see him at Vectors a few weeks back, it was one of the best presentations we had there because it wasn't a sales job. It was informational. Therefore, why don't you all just give Darren a big welcome, and I'm going to turn it over to him because he's got a lot to tell you. Take it away, Darren. Andy, thank you, and uh, welcome, uh, welcome team. You know we've got a uh, really good relationship with Andy Sky Switch, and uh, and of course Cordial as well. Really appreciate everything you guys do, Andy, and giving us this platform to talk. Again, like Andy said, we're, we're trying not to make this a sales pitch. We try to make everything we do valuable for the, for the channel. So let's jump right in. Um, as Andy said, I'm the director of our channel sales here at Poly, and we've got some cool stuff to talk about it. So let's go in. Um, here's our agenda for today. Uh, the first one that's top of a lot of our partner's mind is, hey, we heard about this acquisition. HP is going to acquire Poly. So what's going on with that? Uh, we're... The other thing I think if I get asked daily, if not multiple times a day, is um, what's going on with your supply chain? And by the way, will, will HP help with that? Uh, then we'll look at some headsets. And, and there's a particular reason we're going to look at headsets. Um, it's, it's a unique solution to some problems. And then very popular right now, too, is bring your own meeting. This whole concept of I just need to parachute in somewhere, whether I'm working from home or a coffee shop or whatever, and what are the solutions that I can use to do that more effectively. And then I'm going to close with why partner with Poly. There's a lot of benefits to, to being a partner with Poly. So we want to make sure that you're aware of those. And then we'll close out with a raffle. We've got some really, uh, really cool prize. I, I, want to, I don't want to spoil it, but at the end here, we'll do a raffle and, and somebody will win something really cool. So let me jump right in. Uh, first news of the day is, uh, it, as a matter of fact, at Vectors, um, I'm on my way out the door that morning, uh, that, I guess it was Monday morning at Vectors, uh, getting ready to go out and see everybody. And then I see a text on my phone that said HP just acquired Poly. And uh, then right after that, a note from our CEO announcing the same thing. Then, of course, Andy was really funny and announced uh, Darren Knapp from HP when I walked up on the stage. But listen, we're really excited about this. And I like what the CEO is saying. So you, if you look out there and look at the news wires, you're gonna see some really interesting quotes and, and conversations. And top of mind for all of our partners is, how does this affect the partnerships that we have in place? And what I'm seeing is, is a couple of themes that are really powerful. One is, why did HP buy um, Poly, right? Why are we in this process? And what you're seeing is that they believe and the analysts believe that this is a really a, a once in a lifetime opportunity to change the way we work. And they look at Poly as a really accretive a part of their business, something that's gonna give them more tools to be able to empower users to work from anywhere. And so that's what the, the CEO is saying. There's some other things that they're saying that are really interesting too. Um, you know, one is how, fast that market's going to grow. So if you look at this stat, uh, they think the global spending is going to go from 2.75 billion in 2020 to 7.71 billion in 2025 for these conference room solutions. Um, the other thing is they're talking about this video and voice hardware that everybody's going to need as they transition to hybrid work. So this hybrid work is just a consistent theme. And it's one of the reasons that we've seen such a explosion in, in the sales, for instance, with SkySwitch and how well you're doing on the, on the platform, as well as so many of the other UCAS players are just seeing this boom in the business. But I really liked what um, Alex Cho said here, president of personal systems, talks about, think about this from a channel perspective. And this is all about hybrid work. And then he goes on to talk about how the channel partners will be able to cross sell and upsell. So I think this is a big area of where HP sees an opportunity. This is their public facing statements. They're looking at it and saying, hey, look, we're selling PCs and what do you need when you 
have a PC, right? You're going to need video, you're going to need audio, and you need to sound great. You need to be able to look great. And Poly is that company that really gets us there more quickly. Um, how does this affect the supply chain? So question number two, Polly, where can I get your phones and, and so on? And these are the questions that we're dealing with really since about February of 2021, I think was the first time I heard that we were running short on phones. And, and then it's just been a absolute pain. Uh, every day we wake up and we're trying to figure out how do we do something better to, to help supply chain. So one of the questions is, will HP help? And I think at the highest level, the answer we think is yes. If you think of what's going on with the chipset manufacturers, it's just like anything else. Um, there are a lot of mouths to feed. There's too many mouths to feed. And so they have to make decisions on kind of who gets in front of the line. Well, I guarantee you with $60 billion in revenue, HP is one of the companies that's near the front of the line or at the front of the line. Um, Poly is about a $1.7 billion a year company. And you can just imagine the orders of magnitude and, and prioritization. So we do believe that HP is going to help uh, the Poly situation as, as that comes along. But for those of you who you know, have been watching, this is a global problem. All companies are, are struggling to some degree, some more than others. Um, admittedly, I think in, in some areas, especially like with our phones, uh, we've, we've probably not pivoted as quickly as some of our competitors have, but it's not all bad news. Um, I want to show you, though, just how, how much this has affected Poly. These were all popular items in our portfolio literally a year ago. Uh, if you look back at like February, March of, of last year, these were all for sale. And what's happened is the, the chips, the, the manufacturers have consolidated their production lines into kind of high runners and things that are doing well for them. And then they look at stuff that maybe they hadn't sold the same volumes of, or they don't make the same margins with. And they said, yeah, you know, we're not going to make those chips anymore. So companies like us all of a sudden can't make a VVX 501 anymore. And we can't make the expansion module for the VVX line or very popular in our video line. The Eagle Eye Director 2 is extremely popular with the AV integrator crowd. So we just had to slam the brakes on a lot of these products just to give you an idea of, of how this affected us. We did not want to stop selling these, but we had no choice. So the real question is, okay, what are you doing about it? And what's been the solution? So this is going to sound a little corny, but really this, you, you have to go here, right? Sell what's on the truck. If we, if we have a certain item that's comparable to another item, I know that you wanted this one over here in this right column, but we have the one that's in the left column. So, you know, can we work with you? And, and a lot of times this has actually worked for us. So this has been a big theme at Poly to sell what's on the truck. I can't sell you what I don't have or I'm not going to have. So let's work on what's on the truck. So that's solution number one. Um, number two is we've been really, really busy spinning out new products. And I don't know if you realize or appreciate how difficult this is. Manufacturers don't normally turn on a dime. Um, product cycles are generally at least a couple of years long. So if you go back to when chipset became a, you know, the tip of the tongue, uh, that was a little over a year ago. And within that year, we've put out numerous different products. So we've accelerated our development cycles to bring products to market a lot more quickly. So this is just a snapshot of several of them. And you see there in the telephony space, even we came out with a couple of new models there. Uh, and we'll talk about those in, in a little more depth in just a second. But you just see that that's the list today. Um, there were two announced products that came out within the last two days. So I could add a couple more to this slide. But um, that's solution number two, build new devices to, to alleviate the problem of not being able to deliver other devices. Solution number three, um, this, is, this is something that we had sort of toyed with for a long time. There's always been a demand for refurbished gear uh, with Poly. Our phones are legendary for lasting forever. And so uh, we, we were constantly being asked, well, hey, do you have some sort of a refresh program or a, an authorized remanufacturer? 
And so we actually began doing this in the middle of last year, and we got the program up and running at the end of last year. And we now are able to do two things. One is buy your old generation two and generation three VVX, as well as CCX phones. And we're now remanufacturing those in our facility in, in Tijuana. We call it the Plamex factory, uh, but we're remanufacturing devices. And so it kind of goes like this. Let's say you sold us back, or maybe Bank of America sold us back a bunch of EVX 411s that they were using for Skype for Business. Um, some of them are cosmetically perfect, and everything works great, and we can repackage those and kind of clean them up. Maybe there's a scuff on the handset, and we replace the handset. Some of them are a little more banged up, but we have the plastics. We're not um, constrained on plastics, so we can actually go in and say, hey, brand new plastics on it. And the thing looks brand new. We're putting it in a new box and we're giving you a like new warranty. So for all intents and purposes, it's a brand new phone. We're not manufacturing new ones, but we're remanufacturing the old ones. We're also supporting these, for instance, on the, we've end of sale the VVX 411s, 501s, that generation of VVX. We've end of sailed those, but we're supporting the remanufactured and everything that we've sold before through 2027. So when you buy one of these, you're actually getting a like new device that's been extremely popular, still works great on SkySwitch. So that's another area to look at. So that's solution three. And this is what it looks like when we look at phones. So here's a, a VVX 350, very hard to come by right now as a new device. So let's look at the three solutions and talk about what we're doing. Uh, solution one, sell what's on the truck. We do have more CCX phones. Uh, right now, if, if I were to you know, look in my distribution channels, we have more VVX 250s. So some partners are saying, well, hey, um, we'll upgrade to CCX. And others are saying, well, I'll sort of downgrade from VVX 350 to a 250 because I can get one of those today. Uh, number two, we've seen a lot of this. Look, a lot of us have been accustomed to working in a virtual environment on a computer and in that, in that sort of mode, we're running with soft clients and the customers have had this accelerated crash course in sort of getting away from the phone and using their desktop, their, their laptop computer. So we've actually seen a lot of partners say, well, you know what? I could sell you a great headset from Poly to go with our soft phone solution and you're up and running. And by the way, we're not going to tell you you can't have the phone. It's just going to take a few months to get. So get up and running today on your soft client with a poly headset. And oh, by the way, when the phone comes, if you want to take that same headset and plug it into the phone, if it's one of Poly's USB phones, you can transfer that wired or wireless headset into the phone. So that's solution one. Sell what's on the truck. We've got CCX open SIP models. We've got some VVX 250s, and we've got um, uh, headsets. We've got plenty of headsets in the wired and wireless. We'll get to those in a little bit. Solution number two is build new devices. So we just launched an Edge B line of open SIP phones, and we'll, we'll dig into that in a little bit. Um, we also launched the Rove line of decked phones. If you were selling, for instance, the VVX D230 decked, you just can't get them. They're, they're virtually impossible to find. And we're even putting like on the Rove, it's a bit more of an expensive line, but we've added 15% off MSRP. So, you know, you take an MSRP of, of uh, you know, what, 200 bucks. I'm just throwing it out there. That's not what the MSRP is, but that's 30 bucks off of, of that unit at distribution. The other thing is we build our new devices. We've actually taken this line, this VVX line of phones, and we are remanufacturing the VVX with new components. So what we've done is we've gone back and said, okay, look, if we couldn't get hold of the, I'm, I'm just pulling stuff out of the air here. Let's say the chip that runs the, the gigabit port and we can't get hold of whatever, but we go find another, um, another supplier and we change out those chipsets. So we're in the process now of releasing VVXX50 with an updated set of components and that'll be coming out in June. So we expect that the ramp there will go up and our availability of these phones will, will uh, come back. And then I can't tell you on this call, I'd have to do it in NDA and one-on-one, -on -one, but we've got a new line 
coming this summer. That's all I can tell you here. If you want to talk to your poly rep, we might be able to show you a picture of it or something like that. Great looking line of phones. I'm really excited about that. So think about that from that perspective. Um, two new lines of phones and we're remanufacturing the VVX X50s. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. We do see this thing getting better as we exit the summer. Things should start to look a lot better. And especially as we wind into the, the close of the year. And then the final, we talked about it at length a little bit ago, but renewing existing models that are that are doing great. We're renewing, by the way, I've seen um, VVX X50 phones. I've seen the 411s, uh, 311s, 501s, and so on. And so through a select set of distributors, we're, we're offering those. And by the way, we'll buy them from you. So if you want to sell some of those, we'll, we'll give you credits for those. And here's just a, a quick rundown of the Edge B phone. So there's a, a picture of what it looks like. It's a great entry-level phone. Um, it serves really well. And let me get to this next one and I'll show you. So the Edge B30, the far right there, four line keys, it's gigabit. It is a black and white screen, but that's going to be a really solid replacement for like a VVX 311. And if you look at the MSRP of 120, you're getting this thing sub $100. And, and that's a great little phone for a sub hundred dollar phone. Now the B20 is just a two line version with fast ethernet. It does have PoE. The B10, I don't think is going to do great in the US. Um, it, it is not PoE. It comes with a power supply and you cannot plug it into a PoE um, injector or anything like that. So just kind of thinking of that, we, we really targeted that for kind of retail um, we think it'll be very popular in, in certain areas, like we feel like uh, certain areas of Latin America that we think that phone's going to do very well in. That's the Edge B. I do want to show you Rove. I'm excited about these. These are really being well received for a decked cordless phone. And there's a lot to like about this. So let me jump right in. Um, first is we've got two different models. They're very similar. You know, one's sort of a dark navy blue and the other one's kind of a sand color. But other than that, the only difference is the, the right one there, the, the sand color, has integrated Bluetooth in a vibrate mode and an emergency button. So this is great for things like um, you know, hospitals and things like that, where you might put it in a room and there's a, an emergency key that somebody can call the front desk or something like that, or think like elderly care, um, those types of areas. This is going to be great. It's also um, drop tested to two meters. It's ruggedized, it's, um, it's IP65 rated, so you're, you're able to get some water on it. It's not gonna get, get messed up. Great handset, it also has microband in it. And in our germaphobe world that we're in today, having microband is, is really a good selling point. We are the only uh, phone manufacturer with a license to use microband today. So that's injected right into the plastics and it actually kills the, the microbes. Now, if I dig in a little bit more, the bases on this Rove series is where things get really interesting. So we've got a kind of an entry level one. It's called the B2, and that's for your basic retail or maybe a medium size or smaller warehouse. And then we've got the B4, which is really that enterprise. So on the B2, you could go maybe 20 handsets would be your max. On the, on the B4, you could get up to a thousand handsets in a system. So you think multi-story, fully meshed, uh, you think hospitals, things like that, this is gonna be your solution for it. The other thing that we added in there is a repeater. So wherever you've got dead spots, you can get repeaters on the bases so you can fill in all those dead spots. And you can uh, list here up to six repeaters per base station. So you can really get a, deeply mesh network there. Um, looking at the conference phones, one of the things that we've, we've struggled a bit with is, for instance, the top of the line, the C60 is, is our most popular, just because it's Android based, it, it interrupts with our video systems and does a bunch of really cool tricks, as well as its amazing conference phone. But um, it's been harder to come by. So we've sort of pivoted and we've seen a lot of adoption in our USB Bluetooth speaker phones called the Sync series. So let me drill into that a little bit. Here is the Sync series and we just released a fourth in that line. So imagine there, there's a Sync 10 to the left 
And the way this rolls out is the Sync 10 and the Sync 20 are personal devices. I, I throw them in my bag. I've got it on my work from home desk, uh, whatever. The Sync 20 has a battery. The Sync 10 does not. Uh, you can plug both of them in via USB. The Sync 20 can go wirelessly because it's got the battery. And so you can run, uh, you know, over Bluetooth, for instance, you can pair it to your cell phone and have an ad hoc conference uh, with a poly quality on your cell phone. And then as you get up into the Sync 40 and 60, those are more conference room solutions. The Sync 40 does have a battery. The Sync 60 is only AC powered. Um, but what's really cool about the 40 and 60 is you can also pair two of them together in tandem wirelessly. So imagine I put two Sync 40s on the table, um, a USB to a laptop or to a PC on one of them, and the other one's wirelessly, wires, wirelessly connected. I couldn't get that out. Um, and so now you've got this really great coverage on a conference table, fully wireless, running right off your laptop or the local PC in the room. All of those models have a port to charge your cell phone too. So we realize that's an important thing is people at the table need to charge. And so we've got a a port built right in to be able to charge cell phones. Moving along, we've got headsets. Um, as, I, as I said before, this has been a really good solution for partners who just can't get hold of a phone and they want the poly phone, but realize, hey, I wanna, I wanna get the line in billing today. So let me sell the headset, let me sell the value of the soft client, and then promise that this same headset will plug into the phone later on when it gets here. Biggest obstacle I find with our service provider partners is this. I don't want to support headsets. I hear that all the time. What we've done for our partners is we'll take the direct call from your end customer for headsets, not for phones, but we will take the direct call on the headsets. So that leaves you to basically troubleshoot the, the telephony piece of it down to the client or the phone. And then we take over at the headset. So they literally can call our 800 number uh, they can chat with us, they can email us, and then we support, we'll even RMA the, uh, the headset on your behalf. So we've taken that completely out of the way. We'd love for you to start selling headsets. Um, let me jump into a couple of the families. These are the most popular. So Voyager is our wireless Bluetooth models. So whenever you see Voyager, you think wireless Bluetooth. So let me take a look at the line here. Not going to go into real depth on these, but just suffice to say that if you see UC at the end of the model, that comes with a little dongle. I'm actually using one right now. I'm on a, uh, the Voyager 5200 UC, and I've got my dongle plugged into my laptop, and that's without pairing, without doing anything, I'm auto automatically paired. That's the audio I'm using right now. And then all of these other models have great noise cancellation. And, and depending on your wearing style and your wearing preference and so on, we've got a lot of different solutions for you. Now, what I do want to show you is one particular model we just came out with, and this is the Voyager Focus 2 UC. So uh, at the highest level, I'll, this will be a leave behind. You guys will have access to this. We'll get a, a PDF version of this out. But the, the big highlights are... Um, Long battery life, 19 hour battery life. Sounds amazing. It's got ANC. So for you locally, as you put these on your, on your head, one is because they're covering your ear, you get this passive noise cancellation. So just by virtue of the fact that it's on your ear, you hear less noise. The other piece is we have the active noise cancellation. So we have microphones listening to the ambient noise and then reducing the amount of noise that you're hearing, the rumbling on an airplane or, you know, whatever, all of those noises get really subdued with the ANC. And it's a multi-mode hybrid ANC. So you get to kind of pick the level and the threshold of what it is you want. The other thing is, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you a demo of this in just a second. We have four microphones on this device. One of them listens to you and the other three are listening to the ambient noise. And what that does is it gives us the ability to do great noise cancellation. So the far end only hears you. They're not listening to all the stuff that's going on around you, the dog barking and the kids talking and all the things that you could be coffee shop. We just did a, had a meeting yesterday and uh, somebody from our marketing department was in a Starbucks and you could not tell. Um, she, she was even on video and the way she had the, the camera framed, you couldn't tell what was behind her. It was just some art. 
And then with the headset, you could not hear any of the, the coffee shop noises going on. It was pretty amazing. Now, I want to show you the, the in-action, what we call acoustic fence. So check out this demo. When it comes to communication, the clarity of your voice is critical for your listeners. So how do you keep nearby sounds from entering the headset microphone and competing with your voice? That's acoustic fence technology. The Voyager Focus 2 is equipped with an array of four spatially aware microphones. It all begins with the microphone on the end of the boom. This microphone lets the rest of the mics know the most critical sound to protect, your voice. The other microphones located on the outside of the boom and on each ear cup are like the bodyguards. They focus their attention on your voice, then detect which noises should not enter. Let's do a quick demo to show the power of this technology. Whether you're dealing with a loud talker in the office or a nearby kitchen appliance, you need your voice to stand out. Now, here's my voice on the new Voyager Focus 2 headset. The result is truly remarkable. Your voice can be heard clearly in noisy environments. That's the power of acoustic fence technology by Poly. Really cool stuff. And, and just a side note. Um, Very cool stuff, Darren. Yeah, Very Andy, cool. Andy, I need to get one of those to you, buddy. Um, the one, one note here is I'm showing you guys this. We're maybe a week or two away from launching a portal where you'll be able to um, get some special internal use pricing on these devices, you know, not intended for resale, but something where if you want one for your personal use, you'll get a special price on it. So we're working on that, uh, more to come on that. But let me jump to the Blackwire family, also a really good group of corded headsets. So here the answer is, look, I don't wanna mess with battery. I just need to plug in and go. And so this is our Blackwire family. And it goes from very economical on the right, the Blackwire 3200 series, all the way up to something that has acoustic fence and ANC in a um, corded version with a Blackwire 8225. Now, I want to shift gears a little bit because this whole concept of bring your own meaning is, is really important. Video has become table stakes. Um, we're doing video calls every single day. And our, our customers are telling us, look, I'm on video calls. What solutions do you have? I've talked to many service providers. You're getting asked to provide video solutions. And I know it's not your wheelhouse, but here's what we see happening is you don't want that customer to go shop for these solutions elsewhere. Because then what happens is, guess what? Like CDW today is reselling Ring Central. You don't want that customer to get to even a shop that potentially could be an agent for one of your competitors. So you want to own the entire sale internally. And I'll say that again, because it's really worth mentioning. We're seeing a lot of this. You don't sell the headset. You don't sell the video. Your customers got to go shopping. And there's a potential for them to run into a reseller that is also an agent of your competitor. And you don't want to run into that situation. So what we're trying to encourage our, our service provider partners to do is, is look at the holistic solution and when your customer says, I need video, be prepared to offer them something. So what we've done is we've made this super simple, just as easy as it is to plug in a headset, you can plug in a camera and be up and running. So I wanna go through a personal set of solutions as well as a set of room solutions, just to show you how easy this is. Now, the P5, you know, this is meant to compete with pretty much all of the, the little basic cameras that are out on the market. But I will say a couple of things about P5 that I really like. Um, you can't see this on there, but if I pull this up, you're going to see that if I just turn the lens, there is a visible privacy shutter. And so that is actually really important because a lot of people don't want to get caught literally with their pants down. And so being able to physically know that the, that the red light is uh, the red uh, indicators there, knowing that you're not showing video, that is actually really powerful. Um, it comes with a clamp, right? So I can put this right on the, on the monitor or on my laptop. And it also pops off the head. So just like that, there's a magnetic connection. And on the bottom of there, if you can see, um, there's actually a tripod mount. So 
you know, those that like to blog or, you know, like to do different things like that, or you just want a better angle, you set it up on a tripod and you get the, you get the better view of yourself. A couple of cool things there. One other thing that it's got, and, um, is this bottom here. Oops, my light went off. Sorry. I got, I'm in a room that's got one of those energy efficient, uh, deals and the light goes off like every 20 minutes or so. Uh, but on the back of this, the, the bottom actually opens up and there's a USB A port in the back of there. And the reason we did that is because our headsets have the UC dongles. So you can actually save a port, put your UC dongle in there, plug this into your laptop, you plug in one thing, and now you've got great audio and great video. So that's the Studio P5, just a personal camera. Um, the P15, this is the one I use from home. I'm not on it today because I'm in the office today. But the P15 is phenomenal. 4K camera, same thing. It's got the privacy shutter, uh, but it's an integrated audio visual bar that has a couple of neat tricks on it. One is it has the acoustic fencing. So literally when you walk out of frame, you can't hear what you're saying. It completely shuts you out. And uh, so even if I'm talking in front of the camera and somebody's talking over there, it does a great job of filtering all that out. The other thing that it's got is this, this um, technology called noise block, which takes sounds that aren't human. So think keyboard clacking, uh, open bag of chips, uh, you know, even clapping. I'll do demos at home. I can't do it on this one, but you can clap right in front of the camera and it takes out that noise, even though it's super loud. So great, great device. Um, this, this has really been one of our favorites. It costs a little bit more, but it is so worth it because you got the audio, the great mics, the noise cancellation, the 4K video, the privacy shutter. You can tripod mount it. You can put it on your, on your um, uh, monitor. Any of those works. A phenomenal solution. And last in the personal, this is what I'm using today. I'm on the Poly Studio P21. So what's cool about this is I'm in a huddle room and we have this P21 available for us. So I literally just pop it up on the table and fire it up and it's a combined camera, secondary monitor, a um, uh, audio, it's got the microphones and the speaker, and it's got a cell phone charger all built into one. So it's just so easy and clean. I literally pulled out my laptop, put this on the, on the desk, fired it all up and I'm, I'm connected. Oftentimes I'll, I'll not use my headset but just in case there was noise on this webinar, I didn't want the noise to, to bleed in. So I used my headset today, but the audio on this sounds phenomenal. So great, um, a great unit. The other one that it's got is it's got vanity lights. So if you've got poor lighting, it actually gives you a little bit of front lighting. Those two edges are actually LED lit. So when you like, you know, rub your hand up and down the side and it literally gets brighter or darker and gives you that front lighting for, for your calls. And I've noticed this recently, we must have changed the software because when I launch my call and I go on video, the lights pop on automatically. When I end my call, the lights turn off so I don't get like, you know, retinal burn in from having these vanity lights on all day. But really cool touch on this Poly, uh, Poly Studio P21. All right, so I want to move to rooms. And there's one device, we actually demoed this at Vectors. And it was, it was super popular. One way that we demoed it was with the audio. We had a little cocktail reception on night one. And I literally just started playing um, 70s music on this audio visual bar. And imagine there's 50 people all you know, talking and, and having a beer or a cocktail. And everybody's going on. And you could hear this music cranked up over everybody. This sound on this thing, this stereo sound is just phenomenal. So let me jump right into it. Here's, here's why this is so great. Your clients are telling you this, look, I know how to run a video meeting. I can do a Zoom call. I can do a Teams call, you know, put it in front of me. I got this, right? We've been doing it for the last couple of years. Uh, second thing is, is, hey, I'm using multiple platforms. So if you lock me into to one technology, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, just screwed because I can't jump to the next technology. So if you allow me to bring my own meeting, that's where I want to be. Um, and then, look, we need something better than a cheap camera. Look, this is a great little camera, this P5, but don't put this at the end of your room and expect it to be your room conferencing camera. I mean, that just looks terrible. It's not meant to do that. So we need something that is better than a cheap camera at the end of the room. And it's got to be affordable and it's got to be simple to connect and use. 
And look, like I said before, I'd like to buy it from you. Don't make me go to, you know, whatever. Great partners of ours, you know, b &H Photo. Love those guys. But if you went to CDW, then they might start pitching Ring Central. You don't want that. Um, so here it is, Studio USB. It's an all-in-one audio-visual bar made for the small and medium room. Now, just announced yesterday, we actually came up with a new small room solution. So you're going to see very soon the Studio R30. I'm not showing that today, but for another webinar, we could talk about R30. But really, the, the US Studio USB covers both that small and medium room. And starting at about $699, your customers are going to find this really pal palatable. So what is it again? Uh, great microphone pickup range. I've been in some big rooms with this and we've had soft talkers at the back of a 25 foot room that the audio still got picked up for the far end. Really good, six quality microphones on here. Uh, the two outside mics are for the acoustic fence and, and for noise block and all. And then the four inside ones are kind of directionally capable of picking up people all over the room. Uh, again, that acoustic fence technology. So if you're outside of the cone of silence, nobody's hearing you. It has group framing. So it just zooms in on one person. If a second person walks in, it backs out. Uh, and it's got a couple of other modes that I'm going to show you here in just a second. Also Bluetooth pairing, right? So I want to use it for audio on a, on a call. There you go. You just pair your cell phone to it and you're up and running with your audio on the studio USB. Now, I, I could talk to these. Um, there's several different modes of tracking that we do with the camera. So again, 4K camera with electronic pan tilt zoom that's a, able to do these cool uh, AI things where it's tracking speakers. I could go through all of them, but I want to show them to you instead because I think that's more powerful. So let me jump into a demo here. The first one we're going to look at is called speaker tracking and group framing. I think the first one they'll go through is group framing. And then we'll look at speaker tracking with a sub mode called conversation mode. So check this out. Let's take a look at Poly's next generation group framing and speaker tracking experiences that are part of Poly Meeting AI. So I've got group framing turned on on one of our Poly solutions. Now I'm the only one in the room, so I'm the only one being seen. But once my colleagues Bob and Joe come into the space, then you'll see how the camera will automatically sense that and readjust its view to show all three of us at the same time. So now we've enabled speaker tracking. So even though Bob and Joe are still in the room with me, the camera's focused on me because I'm the one actively talking. But when I begin to speak, the camera's going to make a quick cut to myself and put me right smack dab in the center of the screen. And then if I start speaking, because I'm a bit closer to Bob, the camera's going to nice and gently ease up to me and frame me in the center. So that's one really important point of this next generation experience is it's changing different things in different ways depending on where people are located and the dynamics of the conversation. Like if I toss it back to Joe. If I start speaking again from the other side, you'll notice that the system has recognized that Brian and I are in a conversation and has gone into conversation mode. So it's got a lot more intelligence to understand the dynamics of the conversation and where people are to always present the best view and change in the best way depending on what's going on. To learn more, visit us at poly.com. So hopefully you'll agree, really cool technology. The, the ability for one person to sit down, second person to join in, and it backs out and picks up all the people that are in, in the call. Uh, that was mode one, group framing. Mode two that they showed was sort of a two split types of modes. One was the speaker tracking where it literally zoomed in on the active speaker. But if it noticed that it was going back and forth between two individual people, it split the screen to show them in, in, in a split screen format so you could see the two people that are having the dialogue. Now, the next one I wanna show you is this presenter mode. We sold a ton of these units to education, especially K through 12 during pandemic because of this feature. And so this is called presenter mode. And essentially, if you can imagine it, it's, uh, it almost looks and feels like somebody's following you around with a GoPro or you know with a camera and they're just following the speaker around actively. So check out this. Hybrid working is the future for many of us, with some in the office while others are remote. Video meetings are key to making this work, but it's the equipment that you use during those video meetings that really makes the difference. And that's where Poly Studio comes in. 
when it's time for a video meeting, I just walk in the room with my laptop. I plug in Poly Studio through using its USB cord. I also connect to the monitor in the room so that everyone can see, and then just start the video app for this meeting. And that's it. So now I'm connected to my call, and this is using Poly Studio. So it uses Poly Director AI technology for an automatic smart camera experience. It could be set to show the whole group in the room, but for this particular call, I set it to presenter tracking mode. So that way I know even if I wanna stand up and walk around while I'm presenting, maybe I wanna come over here and write on the whiteboard. I can be confident that no matter where I am in the room, I'm always being seen at the center of the view. On the audio side, it's clear and crisp, so I'm confident that everyone can hear everything clearly, and all the distracting noises are being kept at bay by noise block AI and acoustic fence technology. So when I use Poly Studio, I'm confident in knowing that I am clearly seen and heard by everyone, no matter where they are working from. So to learn more about Poly Studio, please visit us at poly.com. Really cool technology. Um, the the other thing that I, I didn't mention is it does come with a remote control, which makes it really nice to set up a couple of presets and you can bounce between your presets and one of the modes. So you pick a mode, whether it's group framing, speaker tracking, et cetera, and then you can flip if that mode's not, if that mode isn't suiting you, you can flip to a preset. So like you could have a preset that just pans out for the whole room and you could have another preset that zooms in on the whiteboard and then you've got your follow me mode or your speaker tracking mode. And you can just quickly do that at the press of a button on that remote. Now, last thing I wanna talk about here is just how easy it is out of the box to install. So it comes with that credenza mount, you stick it at the end of the room, you set it up, you're done. Um, literally you run the USB cable out to the center of the room. Somebody sits down with their laptop, plugs in and they go. Or you run it to, if you've got a micro PC behind the screen, you could run the USB directly to that. And then you go HDMI out to, from whatever it is. So if it's a laptop, you'd have an HDMI in the center of the room and you'd run that to the monitor. Um, so the laptop's able to display what, what their content is uh, or the micro PC would have a short HDMI right into the back of the screen. And then you see right in the back there, it also has the wall mounts kit built in. So you could just drill a couple of holes and uh, there you go. We also sell a vase amount separately that you could actually plug into whatever your mounting kit is for your monitor. You could attach it to that and then you could mount it underneath or on top of your monitor, depending on what, uh, you know, what is best for the room. So that is Studio USB. And I wanna wrap up with just a couple of minutes on the value of partnering with Poly. You know, listen, you absolutely can be perfectly served by just working with SkySwitch and going to the SkySwitch store. As a matter of fact, we recommend it. SkySwitch store has got so many cool integrations in it and it just gives you the ability in a turnkey fashion to just buy and go. Um, but that said, even if you continue to buy through the SkySwitch store, there's value to being a Poly partner. And, and let me just throw a few up here. Uh, one is we've got a partner employee purchase program that I alluded to earlier. This is something where, look, you want like sub distribution pricing for a headset for yourself. And we're gonna be launching a portal in the next couple of weeks where you can just go in and say, yeah, I want that thing and it's for me and I wanna be able to use it to my heart's content. And I don't wanna go through procurement. I don't wanna go ask the boss if I can go buy it. Um, just a really easy turnkey way for employees of our partners to be able to access some gear at a really discounted price. We do have an NFR program too, where you as a company can get discounted, heavily discounted stuff. Like for instance, that Studio USB at around $315, $320 on our NFR program. Uh, and that allows you to now go demo it and, and not have so much, put it into your conference room so that you can demo it to your customers. We also have a deal registration program where on the particular deal, you register it with Poly and we'll write in an additional discount of 8% to be able to get you to be more competitive with others who might be vying for the same opportunity. And then we've got a grants assistance program. So if, if you're selling to government, education, medical, and so on, we've got a team that all they do is help you acquire and, and get grants for your projects. 
That's their whole mission in life is to work with you as a partner to tie funds from the government to your projects. Uh, and then we've got a devices as a service program where if you wanted to just rent the devices from us and not buy them, we can, for instance, on a, a VVX 250, rent it for about $3 a month with no, um, with no contract, basically. You, you just rent it. And if you want to rent it for six months and turn it back in, you can do that. Uh, it, it really gives you a lot of flexibility to have one-year programs, two-year programs, three-year programs, whatever you want. And they're all backed by our warranty. Um, so we do like advanced replacement on that device of a, device as a service program. So how do you how do you become a partner? Super simple. You're going to go to partners.poly.com. When you get there, if you're not already a partner, you'll click apply today. And by the way, if you didn't know, if you applied and you were already a partner, it'll tell you that. It'll say, oh, you're already a partner. Uh, and then it'll ask you, do you want to register yourself as a user? And it'll, it's really intuitive that way. Um, but you click apply and you fill in and submit the application. Um, you're going to want to, in your application, select that you're a reseller and that you're an ITSP. That helps us designate what type of program to put you in. And then just so we can know that you're coming from SkySwitch or Cordial, you're going to let us know. You're going to put in that application that you're from uh, and the reference code SkySwitch or Cordial. There is no financial commitment. We have agents that don't buy anything from us that are part of the program. And they just use it for the benefit of some of the things like our partner portal is packed with images. It, it's informational, tells you about what the latest products are, what the latest discontinuations are, all sorts of really great information in that partner portal. Um, and then we're done. <laughs> I do see that um, Brian had a question and so I want to address that. So Brian asked, do the headsets have dual connectivity for being connected to both the desktop phone or PC and a mobile device at the same time? And so the answer is yes. So for instance, the headset I'm on right now, um, the Voyager 5200 UC comes with a dongle. I can put the dongle in my PC or I can put it in the USB port, my VVX phone. And so now it's automatically paired to whatever I put the dongle in. So phone, in that, that case I'm choosing, is it the phone or is it the PC? Additionally, the headset itself will pair to one unit via Bluetooth. So now I can pair, and the way I've set this up today is the, uh, the phone is here. I've got it paired via Bluetooth, and my dongle's in my computer, so I'm dual paired. I'm using my computer and my cell phone. Now, we do sell an office base that actually goes three ways. It has a USB out to your computer. It's got an RJ9 out to your, to your phone. And it's got the Bluetooth directly to the headset. Now, we'll tell you that the office base is constrained right now. We're having a tough time getting a hold of those. But great question, Brian. Hopefully, that answered your, your question. And feel free to put anything else in. But Andy, that, that wraps up my content. Um, didn't know if, if you or had asked, well, was, uh, the group, if was, they've got any more questions, put them in. Go ahead, Dave. This Andy. was great, Darren. You do such a good job as telling the whole story that I don't think there are any questions. I mean, looking at our chat, Brian Taylor's question you answered, you said thank you. Great job. So everybody, thank you for tuning in. Um, we really appreciate it. Polly is really, stepped up their game pricing is better uh, a lot of times there used to be sticker shock when people would hear about poly but the pricing is better the designs have always been cutting edge they work real well and more importantly they have high curb appeal one of the things that i am remarkably happy to see is how you're designing them not only for the office but the home office and i really think that when you have devices at home it can't look industrial. It can't be that, you know, that very shabby, chic, you know, very, you know, squared off, boxy, unattractive unit in your home. Because let's face it, it's your home, even though it's your home office and people may not be in there that much. When they see something that has, that doesn't fit, it doesn't last. And what Polly has done is taken its design aesthetics and really brought it to another level. So congratulations. And Darren, congratulations on the, Holly acquisition, especially being that we had to announce this. I appreciate yeah, your time. I appreciate everybody 
who took part in today's webinar. Stay tuned for more Sky Switch webinars. I want to thank Erica Vasquez for the great job of setting things up. I want to thank Darren and the entire Holly team for everything they do for Sky Switch, for being part of our family, for being big time sponsors and supporters of vectors. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.